Hi there, I'm Carl Amundsen, CTO of Esma Marine. Today I'm going to talk about smart AIS alarming, and in particular collision alarms, and how to set them up. So in the WatchMate products, we have a notion of profiles, and there are four, four profiles to choose from, depending on the scenario you're in. So we have anchor, coastal, offshore, and harbour. And depending on um, your um, alarming needs, you can set up those profiles uh, to cater your situation. So the way to change the profile, there are two methods. You can do it from the menu on the side, on the WatchMate vision, go up and select your profile. The other option, which is more of a shortcut, is to select the profile banner on the screen itself, and that will bring up the same menu. So let's delve into the actual profile options you have. You can have a look at those under the menu. Um, it's called Profile Alarms. And when we bring that up, you can see you're presented here with three different options in the alarm category. The two ones of concern for your alarm, whether or not you actually get an audible alarm, are your guard alarm and collision alarm. Now, the guard alarm is fairly basic, and you can think of it as more a ring around your vessel. So any other vessel that breaks that ring will sound off the alarm. And that's good in certain situations, but there are some situations where that may become fairly annoying, um, and maybe you, know, you may, may think that's more of a false alarm than an actual alarm scenario. So to help with that, there's a notion of collision alarms. And if we delve into the collision alarms, we can see that it's all revolving around what we call CPA, and that stands for closest point of approach. Uh, the closest point of approach is basically meaning that on my current heading and speed, um, and the other vessel's current heading and speed, what's the closest distance we're gonna come to each other? So based off of that, what are the other parameters that we're gonna to wanna to know? Well, time is a pretty critical one. So you may be coming within 0.1 nautical miles of a vessel, but it may not be for like 60 minutes away. So do you really need to know about that? And that's what's what we call TCPA, or time to closest point of approach. The other parameter is speed. So in a situation where you're heading home, you're heading straight for the marina, and there may be vessels that are in the marina with their AIS still on, you don't want to be alarmed if you're heading straight for them. So the speed parameter allows you to essentially filter those kind of alarms out. The other, the other option there under the profile is for a warning state. So this is like the alarm state, it actually follows the same parameters. You have CPA, TCPA, and target speed, but rather than sounding the alarm, and causing maybe a stressful situation on board, it just displays that target slightly differently on the screen. So you're preempted that potentially alarm may be occurring soon. With each of these profiles, there are some system defaults. So you don't have to go in and, and change it the first time you power it up, but we do encourage our users to fine tune their own alarm profile settings to cater for their own needs. But you'll notice on the defaults that the anchor profile has set basically to all our alarms off. Now, that's kind of useful when you're in an anchor situation when you don't want to be alarmed with collision alarms and there's a more of advanced mode that can be found under the profile options menu which allows you to set the anchor profile automatically whenever you drop the anchor watch alarm so once you've got the hook down you're safe it automatically swaps that profile for you so that was a quick rundown of smart AIS collision alarming and how to set up your profiles if you enjoyed this content, if you found it useful, please let us know. If you've got ideas for other things you want to see about Smart AIS, also let us know. And of course, you can find us online at www.bestmarine.com.